other day, I was using a Kingsford charcoal to grill hamburgers and hot dogs, little realizing that there was more to the Kingsford brand, including its connection with a well-known car manufacturer in the 1920s. You heard that right. The history of Kingsford charcoal briquettes and a car manufacturer go hand in hand. So allow me to explain what I have learned about Kingsford Charcoal and Henry Ford. Henry Ford was an American industrialist and business magnate. Founder of the Ford Motor Company and chief developer of the assembly line technique of mass production. By creating the first automobile that middle class Americans could afford, he converted the automobile from an expensive curiosity into an accessible conveyance that would profoundly impact the landscape of the 20th century. Wikipedia gives an adequate summary of Henry Ford, but there is more to the man than the Ford Motor brand and the assembly line system that he created. There is also charcoal, of all things. While Ford cannot claim the title of inventor or patenter of the charcoal briquettes, that distinction goes to Ellsworth B. A. Zoyer, who patented the first briquettes in 1897. Ford, however, was the first to commercially market the product. But that begs us to ask the question, why? Why would a man who was so involved in the auto industry have anything to do with charcoal? It's quite simple, actually. It comes down to cost and the environment. Henry Ford was, at heart, a businessman. But he also sought to make good use of everything that went into the building of his cars. One of those things that went into his cars was wood. About 100 board feet of wood went into every Model T Ford. From the steering wheel to the dash, the frame, it, the list goes on. Ford wanted to own a source of wood, so he would not be at the mercy of suppliers or ever fluctuating cost. Henry Ford had a cousin who was married to Edward G. Kingsford, a real estate agent in Michigan. Kingsford was able to help Ford obtain a stretch of timberland, the Iron Mountain in Michigan to be exact. The trees were cut and sent to the sawmill Ford built in Iron Mountain before the wood was shipped to the assembly line in Michigan. But something was bothering Henry Ford. Ford, in addition to being a clever businessman, was also a lover of nature. But that's a story for another time. And it bothered him to see so much wasted wood in his sawmill. There were lots of leftover stumps, branches, and loads of sawdust. It was during a camping trip that Ford is said to have realized that he could make charcoal from the scrap wood and dust from his sawmill. Ford's friend, Thomas Edison, designed the briquette factory adjacent to the sawmill, and it was Kingsford who ran the operation. Originally, the charcoal was sold exclusively through Ford dealerships, and by the 1930s, Ford was even selling picnic kits that contained charcoal and a portable grill. Following Ford's death, Henry Ford II sold the charcoal business in 1951 to an investment group who renamed the business Kingsford Charcoal in honor of Edward G. Kingsford. So next time you strike a match and light your charcoal briquette, whether they be the Kingsford brand or another brand, remember you have Henry Ford to thank for marketing the charcoal briquette.